Assalamualaikum. Again, this is Tasneem Shukur, and it's my happy occasion to visit uh, Dr. Mothar Khan, one of the prominent members of Northwest, who was involved with the 1970s Liberation War movement in the Northwest. And it's my great pleasure to come to his place in Oxford, who has very agreed to, very much to give me a short interview. So, Assalamualaikum, uh, Mothar Khan, and welcome to our program. Thank you very much. Okay, so let us start very quickly now. When did you get involved with the Bangladesh movement in 1971 in the Northwest? In the Northwest, it started with several meetings with prominent people who are also like minded and wanted to come out of the clutches from Pakistan group. And these people, including Dr. Kabir, Jodhri, Mr. Alam, Mr. Um, um, Mahabur Rahman, and a few others, and also there were uh, Dr. Kabi, Mr. Kobi, etc. Matin Jodhri is one of the prominent person who, in fact, he had a tremendous contribution towards the movement. You know, this, everyone is telling yeah. me this thing, so I'm glad that his son is also yes, with us here. contribution to the movement. And we gathered at Bonjil restaurant, big hall they had, and we discussed all our policies and our action and everything, where in fact we had the first production of this Bangladesh tie. Right. Okay. And these ties were made to give, distribute to our Bangladeshi people or anybody who supports the Bangladesh cause. Okay. Let, let me, before this, sir. Uh, um, give you a background. You are a medical doctor and you came with a WHO fellowship to uh, England and uh, by default you were transferred to Liverpool where you were doing a postgraduate degree that time. Yes. So you were really located in Liverpool or Manchester that time? No, in Liverpool, uh, before I came to Manchester, I came to Manchester as a registrar. Right. Manchester Royal Infirmary. Right. But before that I was in Liverpool. Right. And that was a prime place for the real activity to push forward our uh, Bangladesh independence. Okay. Movement. Are we going in the right time all right? Because I'm most interested from 26 March uh, from 71. So that's the time you were located in Liverpool or in Liverpool. Manchester. Right. Okay. Take us from there. So what did you do toward them? Why did it affect you so much that you got involved with the Bangladesh movement? I could see right from as a medical student, then after I became a doctor, I could see that we were entangled by the Pakistani rulers, the army people, introduction of martial law, all these things, whatever I could look, I could see that we are controlled by the army. And their motivation, we thought that we are colonized. Our production, such as papers, Tandagura paper mill, paper, they used to take it to West Pakistan and send it back to us and we had to buy it at a higher price. This is one example. A lot of things happened. So you were politically quite aware before right. coming. So when right. you when you heard that so the whole thing triggered after the crackdown of army, who was it? After the crackdown on army, army and uh, before that also their activity was not okay. But I'm just interested when the 25th March happened, how did how did you know this information? Did it go to the radio or from the BBC? How did you come to know about these things? Apart from radio and BBC, yes. the, the communication with people with whom we are already like-minded. Good, okay. Then we had phone calls and, and discussion what to do. Okay, so now let's proceed then. So the whole thing, motivation started and you gathered in different places. So you went to the meetings in the Manjil restaurant. Mm -hmm. Everything. And then in Kismuth restaurant, you went as well. In Kismuth, the Liverpool restaurant. Oh, yes. yes that, was, that was the important um, place for our meeting. We had various programs working from there, and there we had some MPs. Right, some of MP, the MP, local MPs, they came to support us. Local people came, and one musical group, I've forgotten their name. You told me that. And uh, they displayed the musical talent, they sang, and they produced a record for Bangladesh independence movement. That record was later on sold to people. I see. So that was one thing. That, that was an important thing. Okay. And then you also went to uh, London. Yes. And not only in Liverpool, we went to adjoining towns. Right. 
to convince the group of Bangladeshi people and also local people to support our cause. So we moved around. What is the local people? Is the local Bangladeshi or the yeah. host community as well? Local Bangladeshi and host communities as well okay. to convince. And Bangladeshi, those who are a bit quiet and uh, reluctant to Come give in. them an impact. Okay. Oh, I think you did mention that not everyone was fully supportive. There were people who were not very supportive in the beginning, but later joined. Yes. There were people whom uh, we could not even sell a Bangladesh tie. Right. They would not accept, oh, come on, forget it. It won't happen. Oh, keep your tie, etc. And these people came later on after independence. They became came forward. And even some of them became Bangladesh assistant president. Well, okay, this doesn't so, surprise me. So, so, so this is this is what surprised me, but I am not surprised because I have seen Bangladesh yes, okay. character, you know, change from time to time. Anyway, in Liverpool, this is what I did, and then because of my contribution, selflessly, I did day and night. It was proposed that I represent Liverpool and adjoining towns as the sole representative at the Parliament House. British Parliament House yes. for the Bangladesh stamp opening. Yeah, there was a launch of the stamp. And that stamp opening was highlighted by the presence of Justice Abu Sayyid Choudhury and MP John Stone. John Stone was also there. And there were a few other also top level uh, people. You also mentioned during that time there were the uh, went on sale in these yes. stamps. And the two stamps were put on auction. And Two Bangladeshi mm -hmm. businessmen they were rich. They bought it at a very high, high price. price. Okay. So that was a tremendous thing. We had a, a very well, hopeful time for the future. Okay. Uh, also, I remember that you you were involved in raising a lot of money from the local people. And yes. as far as I got, people were giving their whole money package yes. for the whole week. What happened? Uh, I didn't have a car at the time, but some people who had cars, including Mr. Hassanullah as well, used to take me to give an impact. He, he was the, the secretary of the association. Uh, to, give a, to give an impact to the people. And these are the group of people who just finished one sh shift. Yes. And they're going to hand over the uh, accommodation to another shift group. And they used to, all their money that they had, all their money, cash right. money, they gave it to this big box. One. That was for the uh, Bangladesh movement. Uh, okay. Okay. There's another thing I wanted to know because not everyone was supportive, and you even had some hostile um, conspiracy to have an attack on you. Yes, in Liverpool, when these people were uh, doing propaganda that it is the Hindus, they are the they are doing it. It is their propaganda, so they can unite with. India. These are the Pakistani doctors. These are the Pakistani doctors in Liverpool University. In Liverpool University, because they were telling this, and then. Uh, I started to talk in the community um, central hall, community hall, and, and uh, meeting rooms. I, I told them, look, you are hearing a lot of things about this. Am I a Hindu? No. I'm a Muslim. And I say five times prayer as a Muslim. I'm a devoted Muslim, but at the same time I am modern. So it is the Muslim people who are doing this. And these are the people who wanted to kill us, destroy us, and they have done a lot of, lot of oppression on my, uh, on our Bengali ladies, etc., and kill a lot of people. So they, they're coming with this. These people could say they cannot win anywhere. So what they decided, they decided to kill me. This Pakistani doctor decided yeah, to kill me. And on one Friday afternoon, we had a tremendous important lecture from the university head on pathology, higher pathological uh, activity. And it was to be on the fourth floor of the university. And they told that he's coming there. He doesn't miss any university lecture. He's coming there. One of us will call him to the next room. And tell him, oh, you can see something is happening there. So he will come. And we'll tell him, look down. There you can see. When he looks down, we'll just throw him out. Oh and that will be, nobody will, 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 will question, us. question us. It is he who will fail it. And this doctor, he's a Pakistani doctor. He heard this. He came and told me on that Friday, Juma prayer. Yeah. He told Dr. Khan, "Can you come?" And, and he took me to one corner. And he warned you. Not Today to go. you don't go, otherwise they will. And he told me the whole thing. Oh, oh my God. And 
told that you promise me within 20 years you cannot tell to anybody. If you tell anybody within 20 years, they will go and kill my whole family. So Strong. there were good Pakistanis as well. Correct. Okay. And I did not disclose his name for 20 years. Even I don't want to disclose if I can, yeah. I would not. There's one point I always wanted to ask you that you, know, you were uh, newly married with your young wife when you came yes. here. And what was her contribution toward this? I will ask her later soon. Mm -hmm. The main thing is that all this movement that I had been to and these various places I went to, she was always with me. Except on, of course, the university and, and, and some other places and Liverpool. Then. But she supported you fully. She party. supported me in every way. Never stopped me in case she she was a tremendous help. And I could talk to her what is happening, good or bad, whatever it is. And she would give her opinion. Uh, and she, she was an educated person. Yeah. She was a, Okay, I think we will be coming slowly towards the end, maybe. But let me ask you, what happened? Do you remember the 16th, 16th March thing? You know, I mean, I'm sorry, 16th of December when they liberated. Do you remember that day? The liberation was wonderful. Wonderful. We had the celebration in one of the big hotel hall. I think. Uh, the, um, but we remember that one, the one which always. Hassan. Uh, Hassan, would remember? No, he Hassan's was. Dad. Hassan's dad. Hassan, he was very small. Hassan, he can't Hassan's remember. dad had a place. Okay. And, and he gave a tremendous. Mai, yes. Tremendous. Martin Bhai gave a tremendous reception. And really? we had a wonderful time. Was it in Manchester? In Manchester. So, you know, but uh, what was your feeling that time? I, I felt that there cannot be more better reward from, from Allah than this. Really, the yes, I felt, and also I felt to some extent proud that I could, in my humble way, contribute in every aspect. Yeah, that is the one so I want to I was say. a very, very happy man, and my wife was happy. Okay. But, well, um, well, but as you realize, we are going to celebrate 50 years of uh, independence now, in 2021. What is your feeling now? Because what the microcosm which you are trying to pick up, that you were also unified, you did so much of uh, community work that time, what you work, and now after 50 years, how do you see Bangladesh has grown in Bangladesh and how are the Bangladesh community? So some reflection from you. Reflection, the, the trouble, the suffering, the honesty, and the courage to fight against the evil and to get the independence, one should remember that. And that independence, the benefit of that, in the honest way, we should practice, we should get the benefit of it in every sphere. And we should also remember, we should be friendly with other nations. So people respect us and we respect them. This is the, this is my, your wish, you know. my wishes. But, and, and I also wanted to know that, how do you find the community spirit now? Because. Uh, like you, you were also involved. I've seen you many occasions where Bangladesh culture has been sort of uh, highlighted, and as you know, we were also involved with Bengali language and Bengali culture. How do you see that is going on now, as you saw soon after the liberation? I think Bengali culture is all right, very good, provided the internal conflict mm. between people with self-motivated interest, if they can avoid it. That is crippling the organization. Yes, that is that is what I think is really putting us a bit backward and in, in trouble. And the best thing is to forget personal gain and go for <coughs> personal loss, go for the solid thing. It is our Bangladesh, we will protect it, we will do the good for it. And what about the new generation? Because you came pretty young that time, so the, the message to the young people now, after 50 years of Bangladeshi heritage, what is they should be interested in? The young generation now can look forward, but our duty is to tell them, hope if they don't know what happened to us, how we overcame this sort of extreme problem and we won. we won and we won because of a good cause we fought for and if they understand and they will learn under this so this is important what I could see that a lot of young people they do not come to a lot of Bangladeshi 
event. Events, which I find it a bit difficult. But is it the responsibility of the parents as well to bring them? Uh, I think I think it is the responsibility of, of the parents to encourage them to come to understand. Say, sit with the other fellow Bengali boys and girls. Know about them. Know about yourself. Know about your country, and then you can love your country. So the contribution from the helps. Yeah, okay. Then. But so much thank you know so nice of you because I have really learned a lot of things from you today and I hope the audience the listeners who will also one day understand what these people have done at 50 years ago and the message they are giving is so poignant. So with this go thank you very much Mother Bhai. Thank you very pleasure. much. Welcome for your time for me and I hope that we will see more and more bright and successful days for our country. Very nice. Okay, with that we've closed our program. Okay. Let's switch it off.